I was never the kind of girl who stood out in a crowd. Timid and shy, I always felt like I was fading into the background, overshadowed by the more confident and assertive people around me. I had moved to the big city with dreams of making a name for myself, but those dreams had been dashed time and time again. I spent months going from agency to agency, portfolio in hand, hoping for my big break. But every time, the response was the same. Sorry, we're not interested, they'd say. You don't have the look we're seeking. Or, we have too many clients right now. Rejection after rejection, it was a constant reminder of my own inadequacy. As the days turned into weeks and then into months, something inside me began to change. The fire of ambition that had once burned bright in me was now replaced by a growing bitterness. I was tired of being dismissed and overlooked, tired of being told I wasn't good enough. One day, as I sat in a dimly lit café, nursing a lukewarm coffee, a group of women at a nearby table caught my attention. They were talking and laughing, exuding confidence and power. They were the kind of women who seemed to have it all, and I found myself resenting them. That was the moment when the idea first took root. What if I could be like them? What if I could have the power and the confidence to make people take notice of me? I started to research those women, to learn their secrets, and I discovered that they were not as squeaky clean as they appeared. I began to manipulate the situations around me, using the information I had gathered to my advantage. I framed one of the women for a scandal that sent shockwaves through the city's elite social circles. Her fall from grace was swift and brutal, and it was then that I realized the power of fear. With each act of manipulation, my confidence grew. I was no longer the timid girl who had arrived in the city with big dreams. I had become a force to be reckoned with, a master of deceit and intrigue. I turned my attention to the agencies that had rejected me. I dug into their darkest secrets, uncovering scandals and indiscretions that would make anyone's head spin. And then I started to expose them, one by one. The first agency to fall was Monroe Models, a prestigious firm known for its exclusive clientele. I had discovered that they were involved in an embezzlement scheme, and I made sure the authorities knew all about it. The scandal rocked the city, and Monroe Models was dismantled piece by piece. But I wasn't satisfied with just one victory. I set my sights on Manning Management, a talent agency with a history of mistreating their clients. I reached out to their biggest star, a talented young actress who had been manipulated and exploited for years. Together, we exposed Manning Management's unethical practices, and their clients began to abandon ship. As I brought down agency after agency, I reveled in the chaos and destruction I had created. I was no longer a timid girl with dreams. I was a villain, a figure feared and despised by those in the industry. But as the city's modeling and talent scene crumbled around me, I couldn't help but wonder if I had gone too far. The people I had hurt, the lives I had destroyed, it all weighed heavily on my conscience. One night, as I stood on a rooftop, looking out over the city that had rejected me, I felt a sense of emptiness. I had lost sight of my dreams and had become a monster in the process. The city that had once seemed so full of promise now felt cold and unforgiving. I had become the very thing I had despised, and I couldn't help but wonder if there was any way to undo the damage I had done, to find redemption and make amends for the destruction I had caused. The transformation from a timid girl to a ruthless villain had come at a great cost, and I was left to grapple with the consequences of my actions. As I stared out at the city's skyline, I felt a deep sense of regret. I had become the embodiment of everything I had once loathed. The fear I had sown, the chaos I had caused, it was all a reflection of the darkness that had taken root within me. The city had become a different place since my campaign of vengeance began. Many agencies had crumbled, and the modeling and talent industry was in disarray. Clients were wary, actors and models were uncertain about their futures, 
and trust in the industry had eroded. I had succeeded in taking down the agencies that had rejected me, but at what cost? The people I had hurt, the lives I had shattered, and the relationships I had manipulated all haunted me. I couldn't escape the knowledge that I had become a villain, and there was no turning back. I was a pariah in the city, known only by whispers and tales of my ruthless actions. But even the most feared villains eventually face consequences. The city had a way of seeking justice, and my reign of terror would not go unpunished. One evening, as I watched the city from a shadowy corner, a figure approached me. It was a woman, her face obscured by the darkness. She spoke in a hushed tone. You've caused a lot of chaos, but you've also exposed the rot within this industry. There's a way to make amends. I was skeptical, but I listened as she outlined a plan to clean up the industry, to rebuild trust, and to help those who had been victimized. She was part of a group of individuals who had been quietly working to address the issues I had brought to light. They needed my inside knowledge, my understanding of the agencies and the industry's darkest secrets to help bring about real change. I hesitated, torn between the path of redemption and the darkness that had consumed me. But at that moment, I made my choice. I had come too far down the path of villainy, and there was no turning back now. I was going to embrace the darkness to use my skills and knowledge to further my own interests and ambitions. I'm not interested in redemption, I told the woman. I'm interested in power and control. I will continue to shape this city in my own image, and there's nothing you or anyone else can do to stop me. With those words, I turned away from the woman and disappeared into the city's shadows, fully committed to my path of darkness. The city that had once rejected me was now under my influence, and I would stop at nothing to ensure that it remained that way. As I descended deeper into the world of darkness, my actions became more audacious and ruthless. I no longer had any qualms about destroying reputations, crushing rivals, and manipulating those around me. I reveled in the power and control that my actions provided, and the city began to take notice of the enigmatic force that was reshaping its very core. The agencies that had once rejected me were reduced to mere pawns in my game. I had infiltrated their inner circles, using my knowledge of their darkest secrets to pull the strings from behind the scenes. The talent industry was now a shadow of its former self, its leaders cowed by my influence. But I didn't stop at just the agencies. I had ambitions that extended far beyond. I set my sights on influential figures in politics, business, and entertainment. I exposed their transgressions, sowed discord among their allies, and manipulated them into doing my bidding. The city was mine to control, and I reveled in the chaos I created. Despite my newfound power, a gnawing emptiness remained within me. The more I delved into the darkness, the further I felt from any semblance of humanity. My actions were causing pain and suffering, but I had become numb to the consequences. I had become a true villain, devoid of empathy or remorse. Still, I was hungry for more.